I always loved sciences. I always loved the sciences, chemistry, biology, physics, and I liked mathematics too. And those were my favourite subjects. But in particular, chemistry, that was my real love. I loved the practical work, going into the laboratory, doing experiments, and uh, that all intrigued me. One of my first work experiences uh, in the chemistry field was um, my dad asked me to, to come along in the summer and work at his company. Uh, he, was in, he was actually in sales in uh, a fine chemicals company that was manufacturing sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid. So I worked in an analytical, a very small analytical laboratory on a manufacturing plant uh, in southeast London and uh, I absolutely loved it. I was, uh, sometimes I was in the lab testing, doing analytical testing. Other times I was out with my hard hat on, um, you know, assessing what was going on across the manufacturing site and learning. If I hadn't become a chemist, I would have become a pharmacist. And actually, my current job, I'm uh, leading the product development organisation for GlaxoSmithKline, and uh, I'm doing both. We uh, both manufacture and design the uh, process for making medicines, and we also design and manufacture the, the formulation or the tablets or, or the, the um, capsules or the, uh, the creams that we make in, in development. So I've ended up doing, I suppose, both of my passions. I decided to go into the pharmaceutical industry because I wanted to use the science that I'd learned in chemistry to apply it to something that people need, that is namely di discovering and developing new medicines. What drives me on a day-to-day -day basis is the fact that the work we do is to discover and develop new medicines for patients who are desperately waiting for new treatments. And so each and every day, the work that we do has such an important mission. And you never forget that. The people that I work with are passionate, dedicated. We're all a team together working to try to combat disease, and that's what it's all about. I think the hardest thing in research and development of new medicines is that lots of experiments that you do don't work. Um, and that's the nature of science. So you have to get used to um, the fact that you'll be experimenting and lots is not necessarily going to lead you where you want it to go. But that's the nature of research. And when you get the successful result, uh, there's, there's nothing, nothing as great as that. Uh, recently, I went to my youngest daughter's school to uh, give a, a lecture to, to several years in the school. Uh, these were youngsters aged between uh, seven and 11. And I was asked to just talk about a career in chemistry or in the pharmaceutical industry. So I chose to talk about um, discovering and developing medicines and how you do it. Um, and uh, it was fascinating because the kids were extremely interested in all the things that you need to do to discover and develop a medicine. At the end of it, my daughter told me that evening that um, the kids had said to her, wow, your mum has a really fascinating job. <laughs>